morning everybody this is your boy dj sporty we are going to look at how to start playing in key playing music in key every track are ready in key every track are ready in key so when we start playing for example we start with a track in 12b you can transition to your next track in 12a 11b or 1b as a beginner dj that is learning how to play in key keep it safe keep it smooth you can go from 12b to 12a 12b to 11b 12b to 1b but when your track is in 12a you can go to 11a 1a or 12b you can go from 12a to 10a or 2a because they are not compatible they may sound off but as you develop as a dj you will develop the listening techniques to know if this track in 7a and 12a are compatible so you can still play them but you have to wait until you get to that advanced level but as a beginner dj keep it safe keep it simple if you play in a track in 2b you can transition to a track in 1b 3b or 2a so it is one step to right one step to left one step down or if you are play in 2a you can go to 1a you can go to 3a or 2b this is how you play in key as a beginner dj it is very important to understand how to play in key play in key is playing two tracks that are written in the same key or that are in compatible keys so compatible keys would be example 1B with a track in 12B or 2B. They are all compatible. If you see the colors, they are almost the same. Right? So if you come back to 12B, you can go to 11B. You can go to 1B. You can come to 1A. If you play in a track in 3A, you can go to 12B, 2A, or 4A. So the more you play, the more you remember it in your head and you will master this. Then you will start going from... 2a to 6a it's a big jump right so you go one two three four so you can go from 2a to 6a at an advanced level but as a beginner dj keep it safe keep it simple until you can master how to play in key so you go from 1b 2b 1b 12b so you can come if you transition to 12b you can go your next track can be 12a 1a or 11a or you go back to 12b so this is how you learn how to play in key as a beginner dj start it small learn it and then in the end you will master it so if you're using serato you're using track talk whatever kind of dj software you are using it will show you the key of the song because the dj software is so advanced these days that it will tell you the key of the track it will analyze the key of the track if it analyze the key of the track to where you see f major this manner you can go in the dj software and make a changes and select camilla wheel when you select camilla wheel it will make your music key to register at 1b 12b or 5a 6a 7a 8a it's all about playing music in key so as a beginner dj try to understand the power of playing key in a few seconds from now i will show you two tracks that are written in 1a 1a i will play them together and you will see how it is so powerful and easy to play in key one love to everybody if you enjoy this tutorial and you want more stick around tomorrow i'm coming up with the next tutorial to teach you how you can change your settings in serato to coming up with or another kind of key but the best kind of key detector to use as a dj is the coming away it makes it easy for you to understand how to transition
from one point to another. And there is a software out there called Mix in Key. I have one. Uh, you can uh, buy that too, and it helps you to identify the key of the song. It is very important to identify the key of the song. One love, peace to everybody. Now let's enjoy the mix I'm going to do to show you how you can mix two tracks that are written in the C key. Below, boom.